I'm okay. I'm totally fine. Hello everybody and welcome back to Topic Tuesday. Today's topic I'm talking about harems. Now in my experience when someone mentions harems they immediately go to the classical chic with his tent full of beauties that are in wait to well whatever is asked of their husband or master. But there are many types of harem in anime and manga that diversify this meaning. Harems can be difficult to write since they require multiple characters within the story, and it's the handling of those conflicting personalities and dramas that can make or break the story. But it also depends on the type of harem story that you are trying to write. Some can be easier than others, or extremely difficult, though there isn't one singular easy way to write them. In general, there are three types of harem depicted. The first is essentially an open harem, in which the main character is seen to be pursued by many girls romantically, or the main character pursuing several girls. This is usually in school or work drama stories, and often the females are unconnected beyond the main character and spread out throughout the story and the city of that story. This is also the most basic of harems, as it is really just a love triangle situation with just many, many people on the triangle. Triangle. For example, in one comic I have read, the main character, after being granted a special ability, meets various women across the city he works at, gaining their attention and eventual love, while he pursues his main romantic goal. While the girls do not know each other specifically, some may, some may not, they will eventually either be filtered out by the main character or drama will bring them all together for the finale chapters. The main difficulty in writing this type is keeping the characters interesting enough without making them rarely appear or be overexposed, unless they are being presented as the main character, who can often overshadow the rest of the harem. The second type of harem is the harem group, in which the main character is surrounded by members of the opposite sex with who he is friends with, and with romance growing within the group. Now, while the main character may have a romantic interest with only one of them, or in many cases oblivious to the growing affection of the others, situations arise in which one by one the rest of the group or new characters are introduced and show a romantic interest or growth in trust. Good examples are High School DxD, Monster Musumune, and Rosario Vampire. The biggest difficulty I see in this type of harem is, as I said above, conflicting personalities. To make it stable enough that the group realistically bonds together, like in Rosario Vampire, in which no matter the issue, the main male lead is the binding anchor that later on allows the girls to bond with each other. If you try to write this kind of harem, then finding the bonds they share is a priority. Like in High School DxD, the group itself is sustained by a preset friendship that binds them all together. And when the main male character enters the group, tensions do rise, but dealt with due to their past and strength of their bonds, that are both challenged throughout the story as well as strengthened. The third type of harem is a controlled harem, and this is what most would consider the more recognised due to the adult nature, and what most people consider harems to be, as well as what most harems in manga often tend to be, in conjunction with the other two options. Sexual harems are a lot more difficult to write due to what goes on, but that is only part of it. Controlled harems are essentially just one character having control over several people for their personal pleasure. Often maids are used, but others are used. But unlike the other two harem types, the main character in this type of harem is that they are the central figure, whether male or female, they are in control of the harem. While in the others, control is not focused, usually by a singular character. For example, in High School DxD, Rhys Gremory is the leader of the group, but she is not the head of the harem, nor controls the affections of Issei, and in fact, often fights the very harem she is in. 
In a controlled harem, the leader will often build his or her harem through seduction or power or just any way they can, like building a group. Building them one by one, some are even employed, such as maids. Many classic harems usually consist of male lords or wealthy men who have their maids, slaves or workplace inferiors for their personal harem members. It is difficult to write this type of harem without it feeling like the harem itself is forced into it, or that they have been brainwashed into thinking it's perfectly normal. In fact, many of these types of harems start out as them being employed or forced into the life, but as the story progresses, falling in love with the main lead. Or if the harem is being built one member at a time, it is difficult to write how all the members are either seduced or found or able to live with being part of that harem. In some cases, it requires the leader to be suave and convincing, or having some powers, or having each member be unrequitedly in love with him, and therefore willing to settle being in a harem and be shared. But if a slave harem is what you want, then finding reasons for why they don't leave or try to escape is difficult without making it basically a criminal act. I find most who write this kind of harem, including myself, simply go with the I love the lead enough to not care excuse, which is fine more often for the shorter stories than the serialized ones and is why often you find this type of harm is mixing with the elements of the other two. But as always, that's just my thought on the matter. And if you would like to leave your own thoughts and questions on this topic, do you have a favourite harem story? Do you think there is a fourth type of harem I may have missed? Do you prefer small harems or large harems? Harems that mix characters and genders from other series or just keeping them in universe? Or if you would just want to say hi, something, you know, anything like that. Or if you would enjoy this video, then please comment below i do like to see comments and critiques even about the pictures themselves you can also find me on social media all links are below in the description if you like the video please leave a like by hitting the thumbs up i love them and if you would like to keep up to date on when i post a video then feel free to hit that subscribe button but for now thank you for watching enjoy your week and enjoy your day